Well, in a modern context, what we will do is, is progressively move from traditional sources of generating, let's say, electricity through combustion of gas and coal and fossil fuels, and we will become more and more reliant on renewable energies. Renewable energy is created when the wind and waves or solar power decide to generate energy for us. We can't switch on or switch off wave power or any form of renewable power these tend to be intermittent sources. So that means that we need to store up the energy when it's available and we need to be able to hold it in a form which then allows us to use that energy, sometimes with a very quick response time, so that it's available when the public wish to use it. The course addresses these issues by looking at some of the fundamental um, thermodynamics, that's the underpinning science which allows us to understand transformation of energy in one form into another. We look at the numerous ways in which energy might be stored, we look at the ways in which it is then released, that is not just the amount it can be stored, the response rate, how quickly we can respond to, restore, to, to um, use of that energy, but also recognising that thermodynamically, and also for a whole pile of other reasons, the energy that we generate is not necessarily the energy that we might have available for storage or for return back to the consumer in the form of, let's say, electricity. So it's all about the efficiency, understanding where efficiency losses take place. The way that we do this is, again, it's um, based on, on partly exams, so part of the assessment would be based on, on a kind of standard exam thing. But the other way that we look at this is we have an aspect of continuing assessment where we allow the students to set up um, a scenario where they're given full responsibility for generating energy and distributing energy to an island community with a known number of inhabitants and a known electricity and energy demand. And they will be then responsible for looking at the fundamental calculations in terms of how they're going to generate that energy, how they're going to store it, and how they're going to then deliver to the community. But also, of course, this is an engineering course, so we're making sure that they can deliver all the, all, all the calculations in a robust and realistic manner. So that's taking into account, for example, the conversion efficiencies, the storage efficiencies, and as we move back and forward from one form to another, can we put that all together to ensure that the lights stay on in this island that they've been given responsibility for. The types of people who might be interested in looking at this course are perhaps people who are currently in, a, in the employment in the energy sector. They may be, for example, in something like um, the oil and gas sector, and they may be interested in, in a move.